What is poppin' Fommies? I am back with Five Nights at Freddy's, and this time I actually bought the game. So we have Five Nights. We're starting off with night three, so we're not starting off at the very beginning. So let's see if we can make it to night five by the end of the video. Yeah, we're not gonna do it. We're not gonna do it at all. <laughs> all right, let's see what we get started as. Let's hope we get some far. Uh, far. Uh, let's just do it. Yep. Uh, okay, so we already know what's gonna happen. Uh, we're gonna die. But before we die, we're gonna check the cameras. We're gonna make sure everything's okay. That's not horrifying in the least bit. Where is the... No, that's not working. Oh. See, we're already off to a great start. Um, everybody's off on their playtime. Please, scare me. I'm up for it. Just don't kill me. I got... Ah! 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 Hey! Light door! Oh, I clicked out of the game. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna teach you how to solve a Rubik's Cube. So, what you wanna do first is you gotta get the white cross, alright? The white cross is pretty simple. You just get the this side to that side, flip it down. Look for this guy. What I like to do for this one is I like to switch it and then bring it back around. And you get that, white cross. Now what's up next is we wanna get the corners. Then we bring this side, boom, there we go. Look at that, another white part there. So now we got the white fart side. I don't know why I said fart side. We got the white side. Now, there's a special algorithm you gotta memorize for getting something like this green piece and red piece down to the corner. Cause we're trying to get the edge pieces, right? Or corner pieces for the side, middle piece. So the algorithm for this one is if I wanna get this piece there, I'm gonna match that piece there, lift this side, bring it back down, Bring this back down, push this out of the way, bring this up like this, and push this directly into place. And then boom! Keep it down out there, please! I put it in the wrong place. Oh god, this is bad. Now we're gonna take this piece. Oh, what did I do? You wanna look for this white yellow chair and push it to the top left hand corner. Once you got it there, you're gonna take this side down, lift this side up, stop with the music, push that side that way, bring it down, flip this back, and then bring that side up. Now you should have a yellow line. Once you get that yellow line, you want to do the same exact algorithm. Good practice reps, you know what I mean? Then you bring this piece down, so you got the fishy, and you got the fish's head going to your bottom left. So, uh, 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 I'm going to continue, because that's what I do around here. <laughs> I hate myself. Oh god, I hate myself. Now, once you got the fish here, what you're going to do is, you might have a fish, you might have something else, but if you don't have this, just do the same algorithm I'm gonna do. But if you have the fish, bring the fish's head down here. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift this side up, you're gonna push that side down, uh, away, bring this side back down, push it away, bring it back up, two times, and look at that, you got yellow at the top side. Uh, uh, now, next up, I'm doing the job, okay, I'm teaching them, okay, uh, what happened? Ah, ah, okay. <laughs> And that's how you solve a Rubik's Cube, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's not, I never finished, I died. But still, I hope you had a fun time. I have voice cracked. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Maybe I'll finish teaching the Rubik's Cube next time. I hope you had a wonderful time today. And this is Sandovids signing off.